you can run advertisements on X directly through Google Ads. In September of 2023, X, or formerly known as Twitter, made an agreement with Google to actually appear in the Google Display Network. And so if you've wanted to run advertisements on X, but you didn't want to learn an entirely new advertising platform and have to sign up for an advertising account on X, you have the ability to do it. It's extremely simple and easy to do. And after watching this video, you'll know exactly how to do it. My name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach. And if you want to save money in your Google ads account, make sure to grab my free PPC cost cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, let me show you how to set up an advertising campaign in Google ads targeting X. So you need to create a display campaign. And so if you've never created a display campaign, I'd recommend watching this video right here. And you can go through some of the steps to create this managed placement display campaign. But if you've already started the campaign's creation and you're at the campaign setting screen, what you need to do is you need to select your location. And so for me, I'm in the United States, so I'll select that. I always recommend selecting presence over presence or interest because this is more likely to target people that are actually in the United States versus people that are researching the United States. And so you scroll down and you hit the next button. And then you can input whatever daily budget you're comfortable with this campaign. So I'll input $50. Now, since we are targeting a specific placement, I don't think you're going to have a lot of luck with conversion-based bidding or automated bidding for this type of campaign because we are targeting a specific placement on the Google Display Network, which really limits the volume or the amount of clicks and impressions that you'll be able to see. So instead of selecting conversions and automatically maximize conversions, what I'm actually going to do is manage it myself and I'm gonna select maximize click strategy. And to start, I'd recommend not setting a max cost per click bid limit. And the reason why is because, again, this is a specific placement. You don't know if it's going to be 25 cent clicks, 50 cent clicks, $1 clicks. And so if you put a cap on it at the beginning, you might throttle yourself and not actually start to see impressions from this campaign. So I'm going to leave it on maximize clicks and I'm going to hit next. All right, I'm going to skip over this audience segment to start, but we will come back to that. But the core of what we're talking about here is now that we are in the content section where you can select placements, we're actually going to look for Twitter or x.com. And so there's three things that you're going to need to add. So first select apps and actually you can't search for X at this time. You actually still have to search for Twitter by name, but you'll see here that the recommendations that pop up is X on the Apple App Store and X on the Google Play Store. And so if you want to run advertisements on X, you need to select those. But there's one additional placement that you'll need to input, and that's people looking at X.com from their browser. It actually doesn't work right now if you select websites and then you select X, or maybe you'll have better luck than I did. And so what you'll need to do is you'll need to select websites, enter, and then it says enter placement URLs line by line. So all you need to do is put x.com, add the placement. And so now you have the three placements to advertise on Twitter. So you've got the X app on Google and Apple, and then you have the website input. Okay, now we're going to hop back to this audience section because this is important. Unless you add any type of audience segmentation, your ads are going to be able to show to anyone that's using x.com. So unless your business casts a super wide net, like maybe you're in apparel or you have a business that is not niche by any means, maybe you could get away with that. But what I would recommend doing is adding an audience segment to this so you're not just advertising to anyone that's using x, but you're advertising to a segment of people that use X. And if you go with this strategy, you are going to have a lot of options. So Google has detailed demographics that you can select from. They have specific affinity groups, and those are just people that are interested in a particular topic. And so you can click affinity and you can go through Google's entire list and select a group that's relevant for your business. You can select in market and then go through Google's options there. In market are people that are actively looking to purchase or actively researching a particular product or a particular topic. Or one of my favorite things to do if you have a lot of website traffic is you could actually add a data segment of people that have interacted with your business. They've been to your website or a group of pages on your website 
or if you have a YouTube channel, you could even show your advertisements to people that have interacted or viewed your YouTube videos while they are browsing x.com. So let's say, for example, I wanna use one of Google's affinity groups. What I can do is I can select affinity, and then let's say you have a restaurant, and so you want to advertise to people that are interested in food and dining. You can go through the specific subsections there, or you can select the entire group. And so right now, I'm going to advertise to people that are interested in food and dining, or Google has classified them in that particular group, while they're either on x.com, or they're using the X app on their Android or iPhone. And before you launch this campaign, one thing that you're going to want to make sure you do is to turn off this optimized targeting option. Optimized targeting can be a good option if you have a large account or if you have a conversion-based campaign. But what optimized targeting allows Google to do is go beyond the segments that we just input. And so if you have a campaign that where you specifically want to advertise on X, leaving this option checked would essentially defeat the purpose of the campaign. So after you select X as your placement and you input your audience segment, what you will then do is create your advertisement, you can review your ads, and then you can publish it, and that is it. That's how easy it is to run advertisements on X without actually having to create an advertising account on X. So you can do this completely through Google Ads, which can be a big time saver, and especially if you don't wanna learn an entirely new advertising platform.